Hello friends, this video on metals and non-metals part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will see how metals react with acids. So now let us see how do metals react with acids. Here also we will see that different metals react with different acids differently. So it, if, even if you take the same acid and make it react with different metals, the reactions will be different. If you take different acids with the same metal, in that case also the reactions will be different. So basically it depends on which particular metal is reacting with which, which particular acid. So let us take examples of few acids for better understanding. So let us say for now, let me take a dilute acid, say dilute HCl, that is dilute hydrochloric acid. Now, normally what happens is if a metal reacts with a dilute acid, so with any dilute acid, this is a normal scenario, but doesn't mean that it will be true for all the metals and all the acids. Then it generally forms a salt and it releases hydrogen gas. So that is the general trend. However, the reactivity of various metals are different. For example, now let me give you example for some metal, the same reaction. Let us take example of magnesium. Now when magnesium reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, this is dilute, it forms a salt that is magnesium chloride and hydrogen gases released. Now this reaction might not hold true for all the metals. That's because magnesium has the highest reactivity with dilute hydrochloric acid. So if you try to arrange the metals in terms of reactivity, then magnesium has the highest reactivity, then comes aluminium, then comes zinc, then comes iron and then comes copper. In fact, if you talk about copper, copper doesn't react. There is no reaction of copper with dilute HCl. So it doesn't react with dilute HCl at all. So right now I am talking only about dilute HCl. So this uh, series which I have written this is true only for reaction with dilute HCl. So see if even with the same acid the reactivity of different metals are different. On one hand magnesium is highly reactive with dilute HCl. On the other hand copper doesn't react at all. So let us take examples of some other acids as well. So the next acid that we will consider is aqua regia. This is a very interesting acid. Now this is actually a combination of two acids. This is a freshly prepared mixture of concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated nitric acid in the ratio 3 is to 1. So that means 3 th three fourth of it contains concentrated hydrochloric acid and one fourth of it con contains nitric acid that is HNO3 and hydrochloric acid is HCl. So that is aqua regia. The word aqua, aqua means watery and aqua regia means royal water. Now, why am I talking about such a special type of acid, which is a combination of two acids? Now, you will see that how it acts, it, it acts really magical. It has something very interesting associated with it. So that's what we will see. Now, this acid, it is highly corrosive in nature. It can dissolve even metals like gold and platinum. That sounds interesting. So this acid can dissolve even gold and platinum because you saw yeah, gold is one such metal which do not react with water which do not react with air right so normally it doesn't react with anything much but this particular acid can actually dissolve gold also so now you will get to know how exactly you will have you ever seen that when a gold jewelry becomes very old maybe some 40 50 years old now you want to get it polished so what do you do you take it to the jeweler shop give it to him and he polishes it and it, it shines like before so from where does that shine comes how does he do this polishing so that is where aqua regia plays an important role so let us see how exactly gold reacts with aqua regia now this is gold AU, gold reacts with aqua regia and aqua regia is nitric acid plus hydrochloric acid that is HCl. So when it combines with this it forms AuCl4 
that is gold chloride chloride of gold plus NO2 plus H3O plus plus H2O so this would be the complete reaction correct so what do you see you see earlier it was gold but on reacting with aqua regia gold formed gold chloride so basically it got dissolved in the um, acid correct now i will show you the picture how gold can get dissolved and how it, how you can get pure gold precipitate produced by aqua regia so see this is a pure gold precipitate this is the gold which we normally see in the form of brick in the form of jewelry but this is the precipitate of pure gold which is produced by aqua regia so aqua regia can actually dissolve this gold like this now when you give your jewelry for polishing to a uh, shop what they actually do is they dissolve it in aqua regia and this aqua regia they take down a thin upper layer of that jewelry so because it can dissolve gold right so the upper layer of gold is dissolved and therefore the below layer is displayed and the below layer obviously has the same shine because it was not exposed so that is how polishing of gold is done so you, if you observe it more carefully you would see that after polishing the weight of the jewelry reduces a little bit that's because one upper layer of gold is dissolved so this is another important acid and we see that how metals in fact platinum also reacts in a similar manner with aqua regia so now we will see another acid that is nitric acid so now we are going to talk about nitric acid now nitric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent that is it can oxidize anything so while reacting with acids what do metals actually do we already saw the example of two acids dilute hydrochloric acid and aqua regia but basically what metals do is they reduce hydrogen ions to form hydrogen gas and that is how hydrogen gas is released during the reaction that is what they are actually doing correct now in this case nitric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent so what is nitric acid going to do we will see that so this nitric acid oxidizes the hydrogen produced to water and itself gets reduced to any of the nitrogen oxides now normally under normal condition what happens hydrogen gas is released correct but in this case because nitric oxide nitric acid is very strong oxidizing agent it will oxidize the hydrogen gas which was produced to water and it itself will get converted into one of these oxides nitrous or nitric oxides now let us see some of the reactions with different types of nitric acid so first start with dilute nitric acid so dilute hno3 so let us see how metals react with dilute nitric acid so let us take example of some metal for example let us say i take uh, magnesium now when magnesium reacts with dilute nitric acid please remember this is dilute so it forms magnesium nitrate that is mgno3 whole 2 plus hydrogen gas so in this case hydrogen gas is released why because here it is dilute nitric acid so it is not that strong oxidizer so therefore the metal here what did the metal do the metal reduced the hydrogen ions so from here it took the hydrogen ions and it formed this hydrogen gas so that is what metals normally do when they react with acids now let us suppose if i keep in everything same just that instead of dilute nitric acid if i take ni a nitric acid which is like moderate nitric acid neither very dilute nor completely concentrated so i take say moderate nitric acid now in this case how the reaction changes let us try to see so here also magnesium will react with moderate nitric acid to form magnesium nitrate that is mgno3 whole 2 plus no nitrous oxide plus h2o so if you want to balance the equation you can do it like this so in this case what happens you see earlier hydrogen gas was released but now that hydrogen gas is oxidized to form water and what happened to the nitric acid the nitric acid got reduced to 
nitrogen oxide that is NO. So that is the difference now because now the concentration has increased a bit when compared to situation 1. Therefore, in this case, instead of hydrogen, we have water that is released and we also have nitrogen oxide which is being formed. Now, in the third scenario, let's say I take completely concentrated nitric acid. So, what will happen in this case? So, this case, the nitric acid is going to be a really strong oxidizer. So, it is going to form magnesium nitrate will remain as it is. But now, instead of nitrous oxide, we are going to have nitrogen dioxide that is NO2 plus H2O. So, this is how the reaction would be. So, in this case, you have NO2. So, you see as the concentration of nitric oxide, nitric acid increases, the oxidizing effect of nitric acid also increases. So, this is how magnesium reacts with nitric acid. Now, this doesn't mean that every other metal will react with nitric acid in a similar way. For example, there are certain metals which do not react with dilute nitric acid. For example, so let me give you the examples. Let us say magnesium, manganese, all these, they do not react with dilute nitric acid. So if you ask, mix them with dilute nitric acid, they will react. So these will react, but there are certain uh, metals which do not react with dilute nitric acid. So let us take some other examples. Some metals which react only with concentrated nitric acid and one such example is copper. So copper reacts only with concentrated nitric acid because concentrated nitric acid is a better oxidizing agent. Now copper reacts with HNO3 and what does it form? It forms copper ions plus NO2 that is nitrogen dioxide plus H2O. So this is how. So the reaction is little similar to that of this reaction. Correct? But copper doesn't react with dilute nitric acid. It prefers to react with concentrated nitric acid. So uh, there are some metals which react with dilute acid, nitric acid but they do not react even with concentrated but they also react with concentrated nitric acid. However, there are certain metals which do not react even with concentrated nitric acid and such examples are zinc, aluminium. So if you ask zinc, aluminium to react with concentrated nitric acid, they do not react. So basically what I am trying to say is different metals have different reactivities towards nitric acid. Okay, so you take examples of magnesium and manganese, these two reacts with dilute nitric acid, they also react with moderate nitric acid, they also react with concentrated nitric acid. You take example of copper, it reacts only with concentrated nitric acid. You take examples of zinc and aluminium, they do not react even with concentrated nitric acid. So it depends how metals will react with a particular acid. But whenever a metal reacts with an acid, the motto of the metal is to reduce the hydrogen ions to release hydrogen gas. So that, that's how it happens normally. So now let us see what happens to non-metals. How do they react with acids? Now again you see that non-metals generally do not react with acids. Please make a note of this point that they generally do not react because there are certain non-metals which do react with acids under certain special conditions. But in general metals react with acids to release hydrogen gas but non-metals do not react. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.